think I'd say my collarbones. I think about it off the top of my head, I'm not really sure. Um, when I was younger, I was told that I had really nice hands. My left ear. Probably say the chest. It's the area I get all my subjects to look at when I'm taking the photos. You do a lot of things with your hands. So... Oh, no, 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 actually. I was being ironic. Center of my back. It's where the heart is. Frida Kahlo is one of my major art inspirations. Um, and her, her painting of her birth, it's called My Birth. It's um, an image of like her mother with sheets covering her face and the, there's just her head coming out of her mouth. The Venus de Milo. And it's, it's, it's almost saying that she, she's not able to give birth, but... I mean, uh, I know she's got no arms, but I, I believe that she demonstrates that arms or no arms, you can be beautiful. Etymology. Does that count? It touches on the idea that she can't give birth and she's incapable of such a thing, but... Yes, it is. On the, on the, on the wall in her... In a, Nep in a Nepalese town, um, just after the end of the Civil War, but it's just rows and rows of children's hands. Origins and histories of words. It's somewhat immortal. It's kind of my strength. It's proof that I'm not a retard. Please, please. To me, um, body awareness is very subjective. It's about the self, you know, um, it's about being able to go through your daily business without having to look in the mirror and say, I look good today. It's about looking at a hair in your body and being like, that's meant to be there. Um, you don't need any kind of um, commentary or acceptance from the outside world. It's more than this social construct that we have. It's just you and yourself.